Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a video of me binge reading several of Kennedy Ryan's books. I have never read anything by her but have heard amazing things. And Queen Move by her just came out so I am really excited to read that this month. Um, but I figured I would just make a full video out of it and read several of her books. So I have actually already finished Long Shot. Um, I was going to update you guys in the middle but I hadn't filmed an intro and I just... I couldn't stop reading this book. So I, the first day I was reading it, I stayed up super late reading this book. I haven't like done that in forever, like read way into the night um, reading a book in forever. And this was one I had to put it down halfway through just because it got so late. Um, but I really didn't want to and then I had trouble falling asleep because I just wanted to keep reading. But this book is so good but so hard to read. So it is about a a girl what are, are their names iris and august so iris and august meet at a bar one night iris is in there watching a basketball game and august comes to sit down next to her and they talk and just have this amazing connection and then when the night is over iris tells august that she has a boyfriend because august is interested in like getting to know her and hanging out again and whatever but she's like actually i have a boyfriend so um yeah that is where things end and then come to find out so august is a basketball player in college right now and he learns that iris is actually dating his like rival um basketball player on another team but like they've known each other since middle school always played against each other and they are like really big rivals so it is august like trying to win iris over but Iris ends up getting trapped in a pretty abusive relationship with this other guy. Um, it gets very hard to read and I had been warned like that it was difficult to read going into this book and it was still rough. Um, I don't know that I would recommend this book to you if you have been in an abusive relationship before but also like she does overcome it and she has a lot of strength there so like that was great to read as well so I don't know being that I've never been in an abusive relationship I can't speak to that I just know that I probably wouldn't want to read it so I'll leave that up to you but it is so good it y'all their their romance and I love how he waits for her and he's looking for her August not the bad guy um he looks for her like even after a year of not seeing her he still waits for her it's just the sweetest thing ever i have actually already ordered the next two books in the series they get here on friday today is wednesday so i might actually read those in this video as well i wasn't planning on it but i finished this and i was like okay i have to know what happens like it's not the same characters in the next books but like i want to know i want to know um Anyway, so the next book that I'm going to be reading is The Kingmaker. I don't know anything about this yet. It's like a duology. It's The Kingmaker and then, I don't know, there's another one. And those, like, come before Queen Moo. Queen Moo technically isn't a part of that series, but they have the same characters in it. So I want to read those first before I read Queen Moo. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start Kingmaker today, and I will update you guys in a little Okay, I'm 44 percent of the way through the kingmaker so this is about lennox who is a native american and she first meets maxim during a like protest um his dad's company is trying to put in a like oil pipeline um somewhere that's gonna like ruin the water supply for the native americans and their um like where they live and so that's where they first meet they end up in jail together because he ends up trying to protect her during the protest and then fast forward four years later and they meet again in Amsterdam um they're both there kind of on vacation I think he's been there for a while but she's there on vacation anyway um so it's them spending a week together and so far it's it's good but I just, like, want to know what else is going to happen. Like, I'm already halfway through the book and, like, yeah, they've spent a week together. Yeah, there's a romance developing. But he's about to leave for Antarctica for eight months and then has plans to go to 
the Amazon and then the Maldives like so I mean I'm sure it's it's a romance so I'm sure they're gonna reconnect at some point but I just don't really know what's gonna happen and also I feel like I expected more like I don't know maybe that's just because I'm coming off of this book which by the way gave me a major book hangover like I <laughs> I struggled to even start this book this morning the kingmaker because like I had such a book hangover I had to like force myself through the beginning of this new book not because it's not good but just because I like couldn't stop thinking about that one anyway so I feel like I need more like they've been talking a lot about politics and like climate change and like all of that but like emotion wise I need more and I'm just not getting it yet I'm hoping that I will I'm sure I will I feel like that's what Kennedy Ryan is known for so I'm sure we'll get there but um yeah anyway right now that's where I met so I'm gonna go keep reading I'm hoping to finish this tonight but I don't know I'm gonna have to like really buckle down and focus on finishing this um yeah, anyway, I'll check in with you guys in a little I just finished The Rebel King. I am giving this one four stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think I just, having read Longshot first, that one was so much better. Like, had I read this one first, I feel like I might have given it five stars, but it's just not living up to Longshot for me. But anyway, I really loved this. I loved getting to see all of the... Um, like Native American culture and that kind of a thing from Linux's perspective and yeah so she finds out that Maxim is who he is and that he's lied about it and obviously she's upset but then it takes them 10 years to like reconnect I don't know I feel I don't I get what she I understand that she was upset and I understand that he like wanted to give her space and time and all of that but 10 years just seems crazy um and for them to still like want each other after 10 years I don't know anyway I liked this book I didn't love it but I liked it I didn't realize that the second book is still about Linux and Maxim but I'm glad it is the first book really ended off on a cliffhanger so I'm glad the second one is so I am excited to find out what happens with them so I'm gonna go start that I am halfway through The Rebel King. It picked up pretty much right where the first book left off on that cliffhanger, um, which I, I mean, obviously appreciated because I wanted to know what was going to happen. Um, once all of that is like settled and everything, it gets very political. I almost DNF'd this book from how political it got. I don't like reading about politics. I... I don't think that this book is pushy. It's not trying to push politics on you, but it has a very definite, these are my views and I think these are the right views. And some people will agree with that and some people won't. And I feel like that's kind of polarizing to put in a book. I don't know. I feel like um, not everyone's going to agree with that. And so not, I don't know. Anyway, so I was almost going to DNF this book just because of the amount of politics in it. But at like 50%, another like huge thing happened. So I'm going to keep reading. Yeah. The book just took like a major turn and I don't know where it's going to go from here. So anyway, I'm going to keep reading and I will check in with you guys probably just when I'm done with the book. But um, yeah. Okay. I just finished The Rebel King. I'm giving this one four stars too. I think I liked this book more than the first one, but the first half of it I didn't love with all that politics. So I'm giving it four stars. I will say the second half still has politics, but it's not talking about certain issues as much as it is um, just like the campaign and stuff like that. Um, I really liked Maxim and Linux, Linux, that's her name, right? Their relationship and I really liked the ending and how, um, like she came to accept a bunch of things and there was forgiveness and all kinds of stuff. I don't want to give too much away, um, because it kind of spans both books. I feel like this really was just like one big long book, um, instead of two separate books. 
But anyway, I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it four stars. So next I'm going to be reading Queen Move. This isn't like a direct sequel. But this is about Kimba who is Lennox's like best friend and business partner. So I'm going to be reading this one next. And then yeah, I'll update you guys once I have read some of it. Okay, I'm on page like 124 in this book. Can we first of all just talk about how gorgeous this model is? Like she is stunning. Anyway, I keep staring at that as I'm reading this book. Anyway, so I am already loving this. The first 70 pages are um, about Kimba and, well, the whole book's about Kimba and Ezra, but about their childhood and, like, how they knew each other and their relationship back when they were, I mean, they'd known each other since they were babies, but back, like, 12, 13 is the focus. Already fell in love with him then. The way he, like, took care of her when she was in class and got embarrassed and something happened was the sweetest thing. And then, um, just the, I don't know, their relationship back then was so cute. And then it flashes forward to the present, and I'm not super far into that, but they have reconnected, and, um, there's definitely something still there, and I'm just loving the relationship and getting to kind of see where it goes. I can't wait to see what else happens. Also, we're still getting, um glimpses of Linux and not really Maxim yet but a little bit and how like their life is now so I definitely think if you want to read the king maker and the rebel king you definitely need to do it before this book they're not connected but this book has some major spoilers for those two books so um anyway I'm loving getting to see those characters again as well but I'm gonna keep reading this and I will check in with you guys in a little bit I think my camera keeps getting zoomed in and out on accident. Anyway, I just finished Queen Move. I'm giving this one five stars. I really enjoyed this. Ezra and, um, wow, why am I blanking on her name? Kimba. Ezra and Kimba had a lot of, like, not difficulties, but yeah, some like some drama and stuff that they had to work through and I don't know, it was really sweet. They waited for each other. I loved the like second chance romance, like childhood aspect of this. Um, this was really, really good. So I gave this five stars. Also, we see glimpses of Lotus in there who, well not her, but like they mention her, who was in Longshot and I think, yeah, so she's the heroine in Hookshot, which is the third book in the Hoop series. So anyway, I'm going to be reading these two next. I'm going to read Blockshot, which is the second one, and this is about Jared. This is August's, that was his name, right? The guy in this book, I think was August. Jared is his brother. So this is his book. So I'm really excited to read this one and then I will finish this video with Hookshot and then we'll, we will be done. I wanted to read Grip, which is the first book in a different series by Kennedy Ryan, but after I read Longshot, I ordered these two and like now I just really wanna read them. Also, Amazon like completely destroyed these on the way here. This corner was bent down and like both of these have stuff all over the cover. I don't know if you can tell. There was like stuff here, up here, and then there's stuff on the other one too, but anyway. Now I'm rambling, so I am going to go start this one. How long is this? Like 400 pages. So this is the next book that I'll be reading, and I will update you guys once I have read some of this. Okay, so I just finished part one of Block Shot. All of Kennedy's books are like sectioned off into part one, part two, into parts. So part one in this book was um, their senior year of college. So that was the first 61 pages. I just finished that. I haven't started part two yet. I'm about to, but um, I really appreciate that Banner is a like curvier hero, heroine, whatever. Um, I actually just saw Jessica from Peace Love Books this morning just uploaded a video about like plus size um, main characters in books. I really liked that video and I definitely want to check out some of those books, but I really appreciate that um, in this book, she is like plus size. I don't know if she's plus size or just, they call her fat. Um, 
but I'm hoping that it will stay that way and that she's not gonna be like skinny and perfect in the second half. I don't know, I, I'm i not plus size, but I'm also not thin by any means, so like I just want more like normal size people in books, um, which I feel like Banner probably is pretty average or on the like, I don't know, I don't know that she's actually plus size. Anyway, I, d I just, I hope she stays that way. I wanted to say that. I, yeah, I'm really liking this book so far. It doesn't, it hasn't like pulled me in as much as Longshot did, like as quickly, but I'm still interested. I wanna see where things go in the future. And I like that like we already kind of know Jared from the first book. So I'm excited to actually see like his romance and how he, yeah, his life and how he ends up with Banner. So anyway, I'm gonna keep reading and I will check with you guys in a little. Okay, so I'm not too much farther in. I'm on page 100, but, um. Banner has said that she is a size 10, which is not plus size, but she still makes comments all the time about how she's overweight and all of this, and I just, I don't know. Like, I appreciate that she's not a super tiny heroine, but, like, size 10 isn't overweight. That's, like, very average. So, while she isn't making comments about how she hates her body, or body shaming or anything like that she is I don't know she is still talking about like and she's talking about working out to stay in shape and all of that and that's fine that's great but like she called herself overweight and she's a size 10 that's not overweight I don't know anyway I'm gonna keep reading um, her and Jared have like seen each other again in the future well like present whatever um because they're both sports agents she works for a different company but so their paths cross from time to time but they just had to sit next to each other at a basketball game um so yeah anyway we are gonna see what happens from here i just finished block shot i think i'm gonna give this one like four and a half stars um i really enjoyed it i in like i liked how i don't know how to phrase this i think by the end of it i don't know jared was just really pushy and like when they were together he still made sure that he got consent but like overall he was just like i'm gonna have you and you're not gonna be with this other guy and like that's just how it's gonna be and at first I didn't mind it but like I don't know it got to the point where I wasn't really a fan of that anymore um but I really loved Banner she like is just a great friend to Zoe I think that's his name and um cared for him even when like she wasn't in love with him anymore um however there is cheating in this book I'm not a fan of that but like I didn't hate the way that it was done in this book um yeah I don't know but if cheating is like a complete no-go for you I wouldn't maybe recommend this so I was gonna read hookshot next but blockshot actually took me a day longer to read than I was expecting and tomorrow is the 22nd which is the first day of romance-a-thon and I already have a different TBR picked out for that so I will not be reading this currently I will come back to it at some point I actually am really excited to read this this is Keenan's story and Lotus um so I am really excited to read that but it's just not going to fit into this video or like my TBR currently but anyway I'm going to end this video here. So I, I read five books for this video. Longshot was by far my favorite. Um, I would say Queen Move was probably my second favorite. And then Blockshot and then the King, all the King's Men duo would be like my last two favorites out of the five. Anyway, I had never read anything by Kennedy Ryan. So I I'm excited that I had the chance to read these and discover her and really loved all of her
books. I didn't dislike any of them. So I'm excited to, like I said, read Hookshot and read some more books from her as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.